You know how many things that the devil has kept you from doing in your life that God called you to do because of what might happen if you did? And a lot of us, the enemy doesn't even have to fight us with real events or circumstances. Just even the suggestion of a disaster is enough to send some of us into a retreat. And so, just even the thought that what if they don't like you is enough to keep you in the house. Or just even a thought if what if they break my heart is enough to keep you from extending yourself in relationship. Or just even a thought, you know, many of you are reluctant to get involved in this church because you had a previous bad church experience. And I understand that. Because once you have been through a storm, I lived through Hurricane Hugo. I was eight years old when Hurricane Hugo hit Charleston, South Carolina. It terrified me. I didn't want to spend the night away from home for two years after that as a little boy. Because one thing after you have survived a storm, after you have survived bad weather, after you have survived abuse, what people don't tell you about is that even after the storm is over, it still rages on on the inside of you. And the saddest thing in the world is to see a Christian who has been set free by the love of Christ to know that neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any other power shall be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus my Lord. What I'm trying to say, some of us need to fire the devil as our weatherman. We have been consulting the wrong source to find out what our future looks like. And so now we stay indoors and we stay in fear and we stay in paranoia. And we never plant and we never reap. Solomon said, because we watch the wind. What a weird image. You really can't see the wind, you can only see the effects of it. And he says, when you watch the wind, you know, like, is this a good time? I'll give you one. This one looks like to watch the wind. Because I was thinking about that phrase, watch the wind. And I was like, this is not a literal message. I'm not using it to talk about physical storms. I'm using it to talk about when the sower goes to sow, he wants the wind to work with him. And when the wind is blowing the opposite direction, all your seed smacks you in your face. But you ever feel like everything you sow just, you ever feel like stuff just backfires on you? Are you trying to be nice to somebody? That's the last one of those I'm doing. I gotta preach this twice tomorrow. I need my brain cells. But you ever just been smacked by your own seed? Because that's what he's saying. When the wind is blowing against you, some, some of you have had the wind against you your whole life. You didn't have the right shoes. Your parents didn't make a lot of money. You had to learn to fit in. You had to learn how to be tough. You had to learn how to be hard, and you learned how to survive a storm. But the problem with that, the only problem with that is sometimes the wind isn't even against you, but you still feel like it is because your mind is collecting evidence in support of a verdict that is no longer accurate. Hey, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video or live stream. And share this video with a friend. And don't forget, you can join me live every Sunday. Thanks again for watching.